Okay, we're ready to uh, melt our metal. Uh, I see some metal here that's already melted in what we call agates. If you're buying metal, you can actually buy agates, or you can just use uh, scrap materials. See here, a whole garbage bin, old two-cycle old engines and uh, bits and pieces of car parts and stuff. So quite often there's no end of metal, but I'm just going to throw this in here. And uh, I want to leave the, the door open while we, the lid open before we start. Now we're going to give this a shot here. I'm not exactly certain. I think this one here, we just have to press the button. But, okay, here's it. I'm going to turn that. It's been many years since I've used this equipment. I used to teach at this school. And we'll hit the start button here. And uh, how this machine is working here, it's going to exhaust, uh, run fresh air through the crucible here. Uh, so there's no chance of an explosion. But once that goes through, it will uh, fire up here pretty quickly. It goes through a little sequence here. So we just have to wait there. There's also an electric eye here on this unit here uh, that looks in there and if the fire, uh, something would happen that the, that the fire went out, then it automatically shuts the gas supply out. Before it starts, you're going to hear a spark up. There's a spark plug in there. Actually, very quick. 
but uh, let's see what this thing looks like. I have to pick the whole thing up. I'll bring it over here. Set it on there. Okay. And I'll lift the top part off. have to get it out of there. There we go. There's the part in the uh, in the sand there. As you can see that's steaming there a little bit so it's a little too hot to uh, take out so I'll have to use some uh, pliers and pull that out. And there we go. No. Oh, the, the whole part come off there. It's still a little soft, but uh, we just want to clean that off. There we go. And that's what it looks like. Okay, we'll take it over to the water and cool that down. Okay, we're going to cool it off here a little bit. There, it's always. I had hot water on there, this wasn't quite so frigid there. that off with some cold. Okay. That's what it looks like. Same as the wood part there. I'm going to be boring a hole through the center here to fit onto a shaft so this will be machined off and then I'll machine all these surfaces on there. Anyway, a very quick way to make a part of scrap material. So thanks for watching and uh, maybe the next video I'll put on I'll show the machining of this a little bit.